Hey guys, it's Lindsay here with LB Art. Uh, I just got through mixing a ton of paint. As you can see, it's a very messy process. Um, while I have these paints mixed, I figured I'd do a quick little pour with them. Now, since they are just mixed, there's a lot of air bubbles. <clears throat> so I had the thought of doing a funnel pour. Uh, with the funnel pour, you get like almost like a silicone effect, but without using silicone. So lots of air bubbles because like I said, I did just mix this paint up. Um, you have a variety of paints. I'll say the names as I'm doing them. But I have my little funnel here. This is what I use whenever I'm mixing up the paint. So I'm just going to reuse it before I wash it off. And let's do it. Sorry, I had to get some water. Okay. So, pro tip. Make sure all of your colors are ready to be poured. Because once you have this down... It is incredibly hard to try to open up a paint bottle while this is in your hand. Uh, I am going to put gloves on even though it's kind of pointless because I'm covered, but I'm just used to it, I guess. Already got some moving. When I say I'm covered in paint, it's on my legs, it's on my arms. I'm just covered. But by mixing your own paint, you actually save a good bit of money. Um, I follow mixed media girls ratio. It's about two thirds Floetrol, one third paint. And because I used, um, depending on the paint that you use and the consistency, I use about an ounce of water with these. But if I was using like a um, Artist Loft Low Acrylic, I would only have to use like half an ounce. These were just the regular acrylic paints. They're a little bit thicker, so that's why we do that. So I'm just going to get my bottles lined up here and get the tops off. I don't need that. And I'm really... I don't know, I might go in an order, but I doubt it. I know y'all really can't see the colors over here, but like I said, I will say them as I am pouring them. Lots of pinks, well, two pinks, um, lots of blues, blue's my favorite. Um, we have some metallics that I mixed today. Like this is a metallic lemon yellow. I'm really excited about that. But I've never used this one. And metallic white, aqua green, and again, I'll say these as I'm pouring them. Uh, this is another metallic cobalt blue, and some just good old fashioned white. Now, like I said, I did just mix these, so there's going to be a lot of air bubbles in them, um, which is why this pour is kind of perfect for that. Let me just double check this. Yeah, we're good. So to start off with, I like to put just a little bit of white down. And I do this because what the funnel does, it will, the bottles, the paint, excuse me, will go under that white paint. And that's how we get the cells. Let me get my torch real quick. Sorry, I am literally the most spontaneous, least prepared person in the world. Uh, I'm just gonna pop some little bubbles. Never putting the flame actually on the pan. We're just letting some heat, heat get in there. Okay, so funnel goes in. Um, trying to decide. Let me kind of pull, put y'all down a little bit so y'all can kind of see the side as it comes out because that part's really cool. 
Yeah, that'd be better. And I'm just going to try to do this left-handed. Uh, let's start with phthalo blue. And I'm, I am definitely going to have to release this <laughs> before this fills up because this is a small funnel. Light magenta. And again, all of these paints are Artist Loft acrylics. Let's go in uh, aqua green. Mm, let's actually go with the yellow. Metallic yellow. Now we'll go in with this metallic blue. And metallics uh, usually produce cells on their own. Mm. Let's do some metallic white. And then I'm going to start lifting this one up. So can y'all see that kind of sort of? So we just lift slowly. And I like to just kind of go basically in a circle. And I'm just going to go right back to the middle and keep pouring. Now let's do some of this. This is a deep red. Kind of not really in our schema colors, but I'm sure it'll be pretty. We'll put some white on top of that. Now let's do this metallic cobalt blue. Um, and purple. Yep, there went the yellow. Hey, Lana, can you come grab that for me? Can you come grab this yellow paint for its bills? Uh, yeah, yeah. And neon pink. Okay. Super pretty. And I am going to so just, what? that yellow that fell right there. Uh, okay. Can you just hand it to me, please? The lid's off, so be careful. Yeah. I think I am going to put, since I've got it now, it yeah. fell. Maybe it was like screaming. Leave a thumbs up. <laughs> Maybe it was screaming, use me again. Okay, and then I always top off with white. Let's just do some metallic white. About to overflow my funnel here. All right, and we're gonna go again. And I'll just go slowly. I like to do a circle because it, it kind of reminds me of my tree rings that I love, love, love but definitely more effects from this. Awesome. Even got some like cool little leftovers. Now this is a 12 by 12 canvas. Pretty positive we have enough paint on here um, just to be safe. I think I'm going to put some of this aqua green. So pretty. Love it. Just to cover like the corners a little. Make sure that it spreads out good. And if there are some air bubbles, it will definitely, like these colors at the bottom could theoretically pop through. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put some colors on the corners. We'll do some of this light magenta on this side. And I know it looks like a lot of paint. Do not worry. Under this painting, I had my Loli Vefe mat. So whatever drips off uh, will be used for 
jewelry. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do. Um, some purple. And again, this is just going to help it kind of run through. I'm not too worried about this mixing. Mm -hmm. And for this corner, let's just do some normal white. Okay. Let me move these. And I'll wipe off my hands and bring the camera back up a little bit so that... Y'all can see better. I already see some awesome effects. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorite methods. Um, not really sure who came up with it, but if y'all know, please give them credit in the comments because it is just beautiful. Okay. Let me bring y'all back up just a little bit. I have a tendency, as you can see the paint on my legs. So I have a tendency of using my arms and kind of blocking the, the process. So I'm going to try really hard not to do that. But Mama is in a small space and just making do with what I got. I'm just going to torch this real quick, kind of bring up some more of those air bubbles. All right. Let's go. I'm just going to go slowly. And really what we're just doing now is just stretching it out. Now, if I was planning on um, another like really pretty thing you can do with this is you can leave these corners uh, with like negative space. So if I was planning on doing that, I would have done just all white corners, but I really wanna see Far we can take this. Go in this corner. And guys, whenever you're pouring, uh, I know especially if you're doing videos, there's you can't, you know, you don't want your videos to be an hour long, but for sake of the piece you're working on, don't try to rush it just to make your video shorter. This is such a fun art form to play with, and it's really, it seems so simple, and in, in a way it is, um, but the techniques, there's so many uh, techniques that you can use, and you really have to kind of study what you're going for. And sometimes that is a very fast pour and tilt, but sometimes you just gotta slow down and let the paint do its thing. Already seeing some gorgeous lacing. Bring it back this way a little. Almost there, guys. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it down to this corner. I 
very bright, very colorful. My favorite paintings are the ones that are like this. We live in a dark world, so it's nice to, you know, have some color in it. This corner along it's kind of wanting to be difficult sorry y'all can't see that again I have a bad habit of that yeah. alright I am super happy with this even the sides turned out beautiful back this way to where it was level for sure. All right. So as usual, I'm going to let this sit here for a few minutes and then we'll do a close up. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, it's been about 10 minutes. I love, love, love this. So many cool aspects like it's almost too much to even show <laughs> so we'll just start it's the bottom right corner look at all these cool like cells within cells i love it and again there's no silicone in this upper right corner upper left and you can see this is the corner that i put the white in so you can see that white popping up from underneath. Bottom left, that metallic blue is just stunning. I'm trying to get it to focus so y'all can really see it good. And my favorite part, right in the middle, we have all the colors, all the metallics, Super, super awesome. And here is the whole canvas. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.